right, mate, we're here at the beautiful Fairmont in Barcelona, and you've had a, a recent renovation. Tell us about the upgrade. We, uh, we just finished uh, renovating every single guest room. Uh, the owner spent 38 million euros. And September 2018, we completed the renovation of 432 rooms. We're very pleased uh, how the results have come, the feedback from guests. Um, the public areas, as you can see, were also done uh, during the renovation process. And we're starting right now, um, over the next three years, we're going to be renovating the Congress Center that we also manage that is right outside of the hotel, 200 meters from here, so. Yeah, and you're a very convenient location. You're uh, in between the airport and the city, so you've obviously got the best of both worlds there. Yes, not, not only between the city and the hotel, we are one kilometer from uh, Barcelona Football Stadium, right? So if you come here on a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night or Champions League, this place is the place to be. Incredible parties at the bar right behind us, people having drinks before uh, going to watch Barcelona hopefully beat whoever they're playing against. So, And Barcelona has become a huge draw card for football like we're talking about. It's right. become massive from a global tourism standpoint it as is, well. It is. You, you know, I, I, tell you, I can tell you many stories, but um, last year there was a game between Real Madrid and Barcelona. The team was staying with us. Most of the teams that come to play against Barcelona select us because of the convenience of the hotel and the service we provide them. And I ran into a Japanese gentleman that was standing in the lobby. and. Uh, with his young boy, seven years old. So I started talking to them. Uh, he said to me that as, as a gift to his son, he said, what do you like to do? And the boy says, I would like to see uh, Real Madrid Barcelona. And they came all the way from Tokyo. They, they flew on a Thursday night to a game that was taking place on a, on a Sunday night. And Monday, they returned back to Tokyo. That for me is, is, is to think out that you're going to make such a long trip for a football game, but it has the draw that this game has around the world. And the city's got a big draw, doesn't it, obviously, from the food standpoint right. now, as, as well as architecture and football. Yeah. I want you to think, if you think of Barcelona, I, you have to think of a 4F. Football is one. I know you call it footy or you call it soccer, yeah. right, in Australia. Yeah. Uh, it's a fun city to be. There's so much to do. The food is amazing. You can uh, dine. Some of the best Italian food that I have had is in the city. Outstanding. I'm from Peru. Oh, incredible Peruvian restaurants in the city. So I tell you, football, fun, food. And the last four is, of course, Fairmont. Those are the four mm -hmm. efforts that you want to think. And it, it, looking at this hotel, this is probably one of the better Fairmonts in the world. I mean, from a luxury standpoint, you really have done a beautiful luxury renovation. Here. Yes, thank you. I, I agree with it. I am biased. Uh, I love this hotel. I've been here for a, a year and a half now, and, and uh, it is uh, a unique structure, as you can see. I mean, I have worked around the world, as we were discussing before, James, and. Uh, um, I have never seen a place that the 90% of the clients that walk into this hotel, the first thing that they do is they get their phone out and they start filming or start taking pictures because the sense of arrival uh, is, is impressive, right? So, and the credit has the architect, the credit goes to the owner because they had a, a vision. The hotel opened in 1992 before, uh, for, the, for the Olympic Games and they created something that with a little bit of taste, with a little bit of money, you can maintain a property that has already is 25 years old. It's iconic. And you look at that now with an Accor standpoint, obviously that accentuates Fairmont for you in a lot of key markets, including Asia Pacific, where Accor is so strong. Right. Um, as, as, you, as you just said, we're part of, a, of a, one of the largest companies in the world, Accor. Uh, they acquired um, Fairmont, Raffles and Swiss Hotel when they started to expand and get into a luxury market. And it has been a great uh, partnership. It's been a, a great uh, um, uh, marriage. The, the machine that is becoming a core is really helping us to sell the hotel and to position us in markets that probably we have not penetrated before. And obviously Accor, very well known for food and beverage now and not just accommodations. Right. And obviously in a city like Barcelona that's such a foodie city, how important is it getting the F&B right now? Uh, you know, it's, it's, we continue to find ways to improve our uh, services. We just signed uh, an association, a partnership with Los Hermanos Torres, uh, two very well-known chefs here in Barcelona. Uh, the twin brothers, they're very well known because they're in the media on a regular basis. They have a restaurant not far from here with a two Michelin star. And what we decided, we discussed it with the team, is how can we improve? And we have created an up upscale version, uh, an, an upscale offering of our food and beverage services for banquets, for weddings. So if you want a touch of Michelin stars in your banquet events, now we can provide it to, 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 the, to our market. And uh, in the short time that we have started this partnership, we already had done four events. We have already secured four weddings for next year. So there's a lot of excitement and, and you have to always think what you can do to, to remain uh, uh, 
to be fresh and to, to provide those offerings into, into the market. And one of the great hallmarks of Fairmont is it's perfect for business travelers, isn't it? You always think about the business traveler with this brand as one of the first and foremost things alongside leisure. Correct. Yeah, the people, you have to remember that people have to travel, right? Despite the fact that technology uh, has, many people said, will solve many of the needs. Uh, we believe that it still is, is important to travel, to visit someone, shake someone's hand, meet with the customers and organizations continue to bring their, 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 their uh, uh, employees to, to work in a destination. That uh, interaction that exists with these humans uh, is crucial you know, for business and we, we really cater to that, to that segment very well. And if you could choose three favorite things about the hotel, what would they be? Well, number one is the gardens. You know, there's no other hotel in the city of Barcelona, very few hotels in, this, in the world that actually has such, such a green space that, that we are. Number two is the fact that we operate a convention center. Very few properties. I just returned from uh, Montreux, uh, where Accor has an event that's called GME, the Global Exchange Meeting, where we, uh, where we bring customers from all over the world that are booking events in our properties. And all of them were telling me how pleased they are that we have taken over the management of the, of the Congress Center two years ago. There were two separate enti entities before. Uh, Fairmont took over the hotel in 2015. We took over the Congress Center shortly after that. And the fact that we operate the Congress Center, that for the customer that comes in, is extremely easy. Uh, so those are two. And the third one is, as we were discussing before, the proximity to the stadium. You can walk from here to, to watch a football game. You can be having a beer at the bar 20 minutes before, and you will be there for kickoff time. And if you look in here in the hotel, I found one thing that I'm really impressed with is the service. Thank you. Barcelona is obviously very well known for service. Thank That's you. a real highlight here, isn't it? Yes. Uh, we have uh, people in this hotel that have been with us for 25 years, right? The doorman that is working today, Agustin, uh, started as a doorman in this hotel 25 years ago. And I admire and I respect people like that because I had traveled around the world. I have lived in 11 cities. Sydney was one of them. My son was born in Sydney. But when I see people like Agustin, uh, Christian, our concierge that has been here for 12 or 15 years, people that absolutely bring the passion and bring the commitment every single day to the job, that's something that is remarkable. Wonderful, well thank you so much for having us. Absolutely, it's a pleasure.